I'm the, I was the lead designer in the 2016 Silverado, and I represent a whole team of people back in Warren, from designers, sculptors, engineers, product planners, marketers, everybody wanted to come out, and uh, we, we developed this new face of Strong for the 2016 Silverado. So when you look at this truck, what's the first thing you think? You think, what happened to all the chrome? Don't you know you can only sell trucks with chrome? Well, the last few years, we've seen a big shift in our customers' taste. We've, we've gone to clinics and we talk to them and they say, you know, I don't know how much more chrome I want. Maybe I want a little bit less chrome. Some other customers want as much chrome as you can possibly give them. So we've learned in two ways what their taste, how their taste has shifted. One is when we talk to them. The second is how they vote with their wallet. Last year we introduced the, the uh, Midnight Silverado Edition. It sold nearly twice as many trucks as we expected in a lot less time than we had planned. And we were saying, wow, let's try and offer more monochromatic options straight from the factory for the customer. They're telling us that they want to be, they want their truck to show more of their personality and reflect their personality to others. They might live in a McMansion, but they don't want to drive a McTruck. So we, we wanted to offer them much more variety and much more, uh, more, you know, throughout the different trim levels, they all have a different amount of body color and chrome. The next thing you know is that when you look at this truck is it looks really wide. All manufacturers have the same exact canvas. We all have 80 inches to play with before we have to stick marker lights on the roof. So if the teacher gives you everybody the same sheet of paper, what do you do with it? Right, to make sure that you're distinctive and that you maximize that 80 inches. The trucks you saw when you came in today all had this awesome interplay between the lamps and the grill. Whether it's the 48, the 67, the 71, and the 78, they all have this unique Chevy um, interplay between the lamps and the grill. So what we decided to do is let's continue that from our heritage, but do it in a modern way. In this front end, you'll notice that we took, we took away any vertical division between the grill and the lamp. And what that does is it pulls your eye all the way to the corners. So this, this piano black insert that's here on this LT Z71 is repeated. That shape is repeated in the lamp with, with the piano black trim. The other thing we did is we know contrast is something that's pleasing to the eye. It's why people wear black shirts or dark blue jeans. It's just the human eye likes contrast. So we take this bright chrome element and we bring it all, all the way around the edge of the projector so it, it pulls your eye to the, to the corners of the vehicle. It's something unique to Chevy and that we've got this heritage of, a real, of really wide front ends and this horizontal graphic. So if we've got 80 inches, we, we try to use every method we can to bring your eye all the way to the corners. The next thing you'll see is uh, we've got this very dramatically sculpted hood. And it's got this, this, this strong center spine running through the middle. That center spine is also something you'll see on the trucks out there. In the 48, it served to function in the fact that, there's, that the, 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 the hood was stamped in two pieces and there's a seam in the middle. On the later trucks, it's because when you have this large flat surface, you don't want it to go concave, so you put this rib through the middle and it gives it, it, gives it physical strength. It's the same thing here. We've got these awesome flat sheer surfaces, but this, this spine through the middle gives it visual strength and physical strength. The other cool thing about this hood is that it looks awesome from this view, it also looks awesome from the driver's seat. The cool thing about driving a truck is you fall in love with the exterior and then you get to see it while you're driving. You're spending 200,000 miles in that seat, right? You're not driving a minivan. You actually look at the exterior while you're driving the vehicle. And we want to make sure that that view when you're driving it is dramatic and something that when you're either stopped in your ranch or you're stopped at a, you're stopped at a light in Southern California, you have something to look at. You, it brings you back to what you fell in love with with your truck. So these lines look awesome in front of you, but they also carry straight up to the driver's eye and the passenger's eye when they're sitting in the front seat. So after, the, after you know, looking at different trim levels, different personalities between monochromatic and chrome, we've got different versions that at, at almost every price point that really blend you know, different personalities. And we talked about the width and we talked about the, the hood. The next thing that's really dramatic with this, with this 2016 Silverado is we've got updated lighting. That's the next thing that the customers asked from us. As they said, the customers told us, they said, you know, it's been a, it's been a shift. A couple of years ago, we'd go down to, you'd go talk to customers and you'd say, well, what do you want up from lights? Give me as big as possible, big as possible. But now over the last few years, when they've got an Impala or a CTS parked in their driveway or a Camaro, they're starting to say, you know, those lights are small and they serve the same function, they have the same performance. And the, the Cadillac's got this awesome jewelry of DRLs going down the daytime running lights, going down the edges of the vehicle. I'm paying about the same amount of money. I need that too. I want that too. So we decided that we're going to offer that on every trim level. This LED daytime running light is on every trim level. And the cool thing about it too is when you have new technology, you create new proportions. 
So I've got 80 inches to work with in, in width, and we're maximizing the width, but also when, when we have new technology, I can, I can bring things closer together and come up with brand new proportions that make this a modern interpretation of Chevy's DNA. The other cool thing you'll see here, this is the segment, segment first LED fog lamp. And that's an important distinction because some cars have ambient lights or daytime, or you know, they'll have a driving light or accessory light, but this is a legal fog. And there's, there's an important distinction in the fact that a fog lamp, it must flood the, road at the, flood the road in front of you, but it can't reflect the light back into the fog into your eyes while you drive. So this thing's, gonna, this thing's cut off. These LEDs are, are positioned. Each one is optically tuned to a different pattern on the, on the road. And if I put my hand here, no light's hitting it, except for some, some spillover light from here. But as I bring it down, my, light, my hand it completely illuminates. So I encourage you as we leave these lights on and I come check and see the fact that, that this fits a legal definition offering genuine performance for the customer. They've got great performance in the fact it looks good and it performs well in flooding the ground, but make, sh but make sure that they're not getting any light reflected in their eyes as they're driving in, in fog. So this is the LT Z71. At roughly the same price point, we offer an LT with a chrome front end. And what's cool about that, as I mentioned with the lamps, there's, there's lines in here and surfaces in here that work with this grill. These two horizontal lines next to the projector work with that grill. And that the, the grill that you find on the work truck and the LS and the LT, it was actually inspired by the Z06. We sit across the hall from the, uh, from the performance studio where they do Camaro and Corvette. And we get to, uh, sometimes we get to work on, stuff, on programs in both studios. And one of the first sketches for this front end, somebody drew, took the Z06 grill and they copied and pasted it in there. Like, that's pretty cool. But how do you make it the truck version of that, of that Z06? And so if you look, we've got a Z06 there. I encourage you tomorrow to go look at it and, and see how, it's inspired, how that grill was inspired and how it's a, it's a tougher truck version of that Z06 grill. So here's the LTZ71. Um.